He is actually the reason that we are speaking Hebrew today. And maybe even further, if we had not spoken Hebrew, maybe we wouldn't have been here at all. There was no Israel like we know it today, but Eliezer ben Yehuda, he put his stamp on it, and not only through the language, also through his ideas and ideology. Because of Eliezer ben Yehuda, we speak Hebrew and we have a modern language which we are able to express everything in this language. And even further, we can say that because of this being true, we are really an independent nation and we have an independent state. There is no culture without language and there is no um, country or no common ground for people without having a common language. So th this was actually his strange idea that a language which had not been spoken for 1700 years should be revived. He's actually, he says that it was like a dream. He was a person who really dedicated all of his life, his private life, his, his, um, his work life, all of his life he dedicated to being the, the person who wants Israel to, to become Israel. The first step, of course, was that he came here with his newlywed wife and they agreed to speak only Hebrew among themselves. This house is special because Eliezer ben Yehuda built it. He was not able to come and live here because he passed away before, but his family was living here. And it is very great and a very big opportunity for us and for our volunteers to be in this house. He himself, of course, knew a lot of other languages. Each item in uh, his uh, dictionary is translated into three languages. French, German and English, and he did it himself. All of our volunteers are working with survivors of the Shoah, and that is a very important point. So for those volunteers coming here and being able to talk with people and to learn from them and to hear from them what they suffered through, it is a very, very important message, also what they bring back to Germany.